Tonight, families across Georgia are struggling weeks after a series of tornadoes devastated communities in several counties. And while recovery will take years, we know it goes beyond the repair of homes and businesses. So this weekend will mark one month since those storms. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes went back out to those hard hit areas to check in with storm survivors in Griffin and Spalding County, where the damage is taking an emotional toll. We went to the lower bathroom and got on the floor. A month is not enough to erase the trauma. Tommy Willis is still getting over his close encounter with swirling wind and falling trees. Three trees fell in right here. If my wife and I had been in the bed, if, if a tree would have fell on us. Repairing the gaping holes in his roof will be one part of his recovery. I thought about it the other day. The wind was blowing. I said, no, no more trees. January's tornado damaged more than 2,000 homes and businesses in Griffin and Spalding County. City and county leaders expect it will take years to reach full recovery. Unfortunately, that's what our experience shows, that this is a long process, uh, but people are in it for the long haul. Part of the process includes resources to help victims over the mental anguish. The, the stress that this has caused, I think, will be around for a long time. I would just ask that anybody that can go to the Disaster Recovery Center and ask for help, ask for what they need. But all this fell on the bed. Tommy Willis is trying to focus on all that the storm spared. It's just a blessing that we're alive. Because he could have killed both of them. It's making life easier while he waits for help repairing the damage left by the storm. Storm victims dealing with mental health issues are encouraged to contact the Georgia Crisis and Access Line. We have that information and a phone number on our website, 11alive.com.